Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, and welcome to Trick or Treat Horror Fest. My name is DJ Surreal, I'm with Descent Sundays, Vancouver's best goth industrial club night. Today we're going to talk about uh, Jezebel, which was put out in 2014. Um, I honestly had never heard of it. I uh, came across it on a Sean demand and decided to give it a go, and uh, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised. Uh, so in the beginning of the movie we meet this girl Jezebel, and she gets into a car accident and ends up having to go home to her father, who you find out has given her up for adoption. Uh, shortly after her mother died of cancer. Um, she hasn't spoken to her father since and, and she's basically going home because she doesn't have anywhere else to go and she's, you know, in a wheelchair. <laughs> so she gets home and uh, her mother's room's all boarded up and it's very, this creepy old house and her dad gives her her mother's room and she starts to uh, be on the mend. You sort of find out her father's a drinker and um, as the movie goes on, she ends up finding more and more things from her mother, including a set of videos um, that her mother made for her before she died of cancer, giving her like tarot card readings and, and talking about her future. Um, Jezebel ends up feeling a presence in the house, and uh, she her mother actually warns her on the videotape that there's a presence in the house and um, that she needs to be aware, and a bunch of other really kind of creepy, foreshadowy kind of things. And anyway, the storytelling in the movie is pretty fantastic. Um, you end up getting a, a bunch of voodoo um, incorporated into the story, which I actually thought was really great for the storytelling because unlike other movies that have used the voodoo religion and they've made it weird and bizarre and like, you know, all over the place, uh, this movie actually utilized it in a way that the voodoo actually made sense to the story, which was pretty fantastic. Um, the movie does have a couple of good genuine jump moments. Uh, the cinematography is also actually quite excellent. It creates a sense of drama and storytelling. Um, the only thing I will say is there is a, the occasional few um, inconsistencies where, you know, she's sleeping on the bed and then she pulls back the drape to look at something and then she lays down and you see the drape behind her when it's like, okay, she just pulled that back. It shouldn't be there. Not a big deal, all things considered. Um, <clears throat> As the movie goes along, Jezebel sort of learns the story of her past and and why her father gave up her up for adoption. And um, the movie actually threw a pretty big twist in, which I personally wasn't expecting. And for me, that's kind of a big deal because I'm one of those people who, you know, half an hour into the movie, I'm like, hey, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And this movie didn't quite go that way. It actually surprised me. So whenever I see something like that happen, I'm like, oh my God, this is really good. You guys got me, you misdirected me, good job. So um, this movie was a definite treat for me. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, the only thing I'm a little unsure of is the ending. Um, the ending of the story was pretty good, but the ending itself was very abrupt. It's like you have this big reveal and then five minutes later the movie is over. So I just felt like they could have um, not brought things to an end so suddenly. They, they could have given it more of a, a, a proper send off for the audience. Um, thank you for joining us for today's edition of Trick or Treat Horror Fest. Join us tomorrow for another great horror movie review. joining us for today's edition of Trick or... <laughs> I can't say it! <laughs>
My name is DJ Surreal. I'm with Descent Sundays, Vancouver's best, best in go. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. <laughs>